Greetings all of you, really good tonight here, and today we're doing another review. It has been a minute. But today we're taking a look at the Blue Force Gear Trauma Kit Now Medium. So the Medium, I know, I know the small ones are really popular because they're very similar to the uh, Burrito. Well, I believe the Micros came out first. It's a very minimalistic sort of IFAC, but if you want to carry a bit more gear, they do make the Medium. Now, of course, I did end up settling for the uh, Stomp Gear from the same burrito company, the Coyote Tactical Solutions, whatever they're called. But this one was pretty interesting because Blue Force Gear is known to make really, really good gear. And um, more options, at least with quality gear, is not always a bad thing. So maybe this will fit one of your rules better than mine. I did go with the Stomp. But this is one of the uh, larger gear uh, options I was looking at. So there's a few interesting features. Immediately got the Helium Whisper, which is always really, really good as a mounting solution. And of course you got your sort of like triple setup, one, two, and then three down there on the bottom, and then loop back in with this little, um, the same little Velcro magic tape setup they got going on. Most importantly, as always, made in the USA with most of the good gear. I mean, there's literally an American flag over there, which, oh, also made in the USA. Okay, cool. We're all very compliant today. Let's go. So, what's interesting, there's a little like rubbery ball thing placed in here, but there's a lot of things going on with this. Some of them are pretty cool, but some of the concepts I kind of felt really lukewarm on, we'll say. Also being triple made, if we got our triple band cover button thing going on here, we could easily set that up right then and there. So that's pretty cool. It does fit nicely on tactical vests. You can load it on backpacks. I have seen a few people running them, there, running them down on the belt line, and it does feel a little hypocritical to call this bulky with the uh, how big the stomp is, but it, it's a bit up there, so there's a few things I didn't like that we're going to get to here later in the video, so let's keep covering the things I like. I do like the concept of being able to swap out what sort of uh, material you have under your medical cross. How that all works is there's a little pouch inside the Velcro here where all those things are placed. However, <clears throat> you got your reflect, super reflective white, black, and then just the standard sort of like blue. No red, surprisingly. But the only problem is this is kind of like a really loose fit and there's no like button or closure or something to make sure these don't fall out. But I mean, if you got it set up, you're not going to really be dicking around with it too much. But every time if you have to open it to like do things to set up administrative stuff for a video or whatnot, it's kind of a pain. This one is significantly underloaded, by the way, because most of the all the quality medical gear is well in stuff I'm actually using or carrying around every day. So. This has like some spare extra gear head lying around just to sort of like bulk it up a bit. But um, you got elastic over here on the sides and that's to help keep everything closed and secure. And secure. It does kind of a all right-ish job. I mean, the material's ultimately pretty good, but yeah, so. Is there really a mosquito buzzing around my camera right now? Bro, are you for real? I'll get him when he's not looking, so. <laughs> uh, I want to smack him so bad. I don't really want to ruin, I really don't want to ruin the video right now. Anyway, that aside, I should really have my editor do more work. Um, so how this all works is you pop this open. When it's all mounted, this is basically a large pocket. This slides out, and you got a nice little display of gear. I'm going to get you. I think he got away. He's going to bite me. It's going to suck. I don't even know why mosquitoes are out in freaking February of all things. They were gone for like two weeks. So, <laughs> this is the, well, it's the worst. So when this material is not falling out here, you do have this little... Uh, Laser cut going on up here if you want to mount your tourniquet up on the top. That is totally an option you can do. They have a similar cut here on the burrito, but I'm not utilizing it because it's already got a tourniquet on the bottom. I can find something cool to put there later. So yeah, you got gloves, you got some basic stuff in there. Um, they do the elastic setup, so the elastic setup is interesting. Because it gives you, if you have like decently set up gear in advance, I know he's on my elbow right now, isn't he? If you have gear set up in advance, you can have the elastic going on. But um, if you're trying to fit like larger, bulkier things or like older things or odd shaped things, then you're really pushing the elastic to an extreme and it's definitely going to wear out over time. So you want to kind of have like a one and done setup going on there. Um, it's set up for like smaller parts for pens and stuff here, a bit bulkier ones on top so you can layer things a bit. Got a bit of layering going on here. These are all like pretty standard setups. Now my elbow's itchy. You got me. And in here you got a little pocket going on where I've got some chest seals just sort of like hanging out, chillaxing. You got a little bit of a velcro up over here. So we got some lasers here and you got your insert. So a little nomenclature and stuff for how this inserts into the uh, big pouch. And yeah, you got this big old decently organized layout going on. So that's pretty neat. 
I like how since I called out these bits as falling out all the time and being problematic, they're like sitting perfectly secure up there to make me look like I'm a dirty, dirty liar in my own video. And uh, yeah, so I think I've been here. So if you do take this out of the pouch and you gotta move someone or do something with it real quick, you can slap it closed real quick and move it about. Now, unfortunately, I did have this packed up closer to full capacity. It didn't hold as much as our uh, stomp pouch down here. And it's pretty decent. It's got more of that um, old school tan, less so coyote setup on the actual internal pouch itself. So as you can see, the color does differentiate quite a bit. So you're not going to be really showing the insert off as much as the pouch when you're going around. So they do have these little flaps on here. So when you return this to its canister, you can flap those pouches over there, help keep everything secure, keep rain and stuff off of it. And yeah, so you got a decent pouch. Ultimately, if you're mounting it on your plate carrier, great. If you're mounting it on your belt, okay, also not bad. But I just found I liked the stomp pouch more. So this is size like a tr more traditional life hack, which was similar to what uh, before Blackhawk like sold out and started shilling really trashy gear. They had a similar setup, but this was like your more rip away setup, which lots of concepts getting recycled and moved around. So this one had the rip away, so you can have your little pouch, take it separate. That's just set up like your standard uh, soft pouch on the inside with, again, lots of elastic. Elastic is cool, but I think the uh, sort of bungee setup the stomp pouch does is a lot cooler. But what cool concept here is they had the Velcro, so you could pull it off the person. This one comes out entirely, so you can pull it off the person. Whereas your traditional one was just a clip, and you had to like dig out whatever you needed in this one. You unclip that, grab the handle, and again you remove it from the person. And this one you can dummy cord so you don't lose anything. But this one has all the... So it's interesting, it's always interesting to see which ideas, which ideas get recycled, which ideas get added, and what cool things you end up on the ultimate takeaway altogether. So personally, I prefer this one, but again, options, particularly with quality gear, is not the worst thing in the world to have. So let me grab this guy up here. So. Yeah, so personally, I just like the rip away idea a bit more. It just feels a lot more clean. This leaves behind a big old chunky pouch that could effectively just be a dump pouch. But we're not really trying to go to the days of carrying all your medical supplies in your dump pouch unless you really, really, really got us. So, you know, to each their own. So, cool gear. Ultimately, do like it, but I do feel like the elastic and the bands and stuff set up it just. Didn't have the customization stuff that I personally like, although with the customization you do give, you can't give people too many options and someone could struggle to put that together, whereas you put what fits in the elastic in the elastic with one of these, so. Ultimately really cool, cool, cool idea. But honestly I just make some really tiny, tiny changes just to that. And um, ultimately I just don't have anywhere, like carrying your IFAC on your plate carrier, it's a bit more of a uh, traditional idea. I think we've kind of moved away from with the old belt sort of setup we got going on now. If you can't wear a belt or you're in like a civilian position where you're carrying like a rucksack or just going hiking or chilling or something like that, these could be a lot more viable because you can just attach them to, well, yeah, your rucksack or something or something like that nature or a vest or whatnot and still have medical gear. So if I was running a chest rig without a belt, to like go through some really nasty bush or brush or something, then this would be a very, very viable option. Since, you know, moving the stomp around would be a pain. But yeah, so medical gear, keep it, get trained with it, be smart about it. Uh, don't buy cheap knockoff tourniquets and other life-saving gear if you might actually need it. Actually, just don't do it in general. It's just a bad idea, like all in all. So that's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up below. I did have someone really interested in buying this, so I'm probably just going to sell it to them so they can get a decent deal going on. And uh, yeah, so very cool, cool, cool thing. The lighting in this room's terrible, I apologize. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I think they were one of the first to actually do that whole uh, cross thing, which was also... Is it only on the flap? It's only on the flap. It's only on my little booty flap. This one's like just sewn in permanently. You can't change that one around. This one you can, so you could be less reflective, more reflective, all that cool stuff. And uh, yeah, so Blue Force gear, they make cool stuff. So yeah, um, that's all I got for you. Uh, very slow closing to the video.
I think I got that mosquito though, so I'm happy. So ultimately mission accomplished in more ways than one. So cheers, stay chivalrous, stay medical, stay competent, stay sound, and most importantly, stay safe. So, uh, yeah, um, that's the end. Bye. Have a nice day. Um, enjoy 2022. And, uh, don't forget to die in an exercise, kids. Die in an exercise.